Hello, you beautiful motherfuckers. It's me, Shaz, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And damn, we're back with another creepy pasta. Isn't this fun? So y'all over on Instagram really wanted this again. So I'm guessing y'all really like the series. So I'm gonna continue doing it. But um, y'all really wanted to see this one. I don't know why. I guess y'all are just memers around here. So can I just really quickly say this video almost didn't happen because I am now recording this on Friday night and I have to post on Sunday. I really hope I get this out on Sunday. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm rambling a bit. Let's get right into the story of Hero Ryan. I had recently spawned a new world in single player Minecraft. Everything was normal at first as I began chopping down trees and crafting a workbench. I noticed something move amongst the dense fog. I have a very slow computer as I have to play on a very tiny render distance. I thought it was a cow, so I pursued it, hoping to grab some hides for armor. It wasn't a cow though. Looking back at me, it was another character with the default skin, but his eyes were empty. I saw no name pop up and I double checked to make sure I wasn't in multiplayer mode. He didn't stay long, he looked at me and quickly ran into the fog. I pursued out of curiosity, but he was gone. I, continue, I continued on with the game, not sure what to think. As I expanded the world, I saw things that seemed out of place for the random map generator to make. Two by two tunnels in the rocks, small perfect pyramids made of sand in the ocean, and groves of trees with all their leaves cut off. I would constantly think I saw the other player in the deep fog, but I never got a better look at him. I tried increasing my render distance to far whenever I thought I saw him, but it was to no avail. I saved the map and went onto the forums to see if anyone else had found the pseudo player. There were none. I created my own topic telling of the man and asking if anyone or if anyone had a similar experience. The post was deleted within 5 minutes. I tried again and the topic was deleted even faster. I received a PM from from username Herobrine, containing one word, stop. When I went to look at Herobrine's profile, the page for a forward. I received an email from another forum user. He claimed the mods can read the forum me user messages, so we were safer using email. The emailer claimed that he had seen this mystery player too and had a small directory of other users who had seen him as well. Their worlds were littered with obviously man-made features and described their mystery player to have no pupils. About a month passed until I heard from my informant again. Some of the people who had encountered the mystery man had looked into the name Herobrine and found that name to be frequently used by a Swedish gamer. With, after some further information gathering it, it was revealed to be the brother of Notch, the game's developer. I personally emailed Notch and asked him if he had a brother. It took him a while, but he emailed me back a short, a very short message. I did, but he's no longer with us. Notch. I haven't seen the mystery man ever since our first encounter, and I haven't noticed any other changes to the world other than my own. I was able to pr press print screen when I first saw him, so I only have one evidence of his entire existence. Well, 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 that was a very short one, wasn't it? Well, here, the original story for Hero Brand is very tiny, and I didn't want to get into any of the fan made ones. This is like kind of the first one. I hope you guys really enjoyed that creepy pasta because as a child, it used to be my favorite. I used to be obsessed with Hero Brand based videos, and oh my god, Hero Brand was like amazing to me. And I know it's a very cringy story now, and honestly, obviously it's fake because like Notch didn't make Minecraft, Hatsune Miku made Minecraft, so. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, who's not? I've never heard of him before. It's Hatsune Miku. Get it right. <laughs> but, you know, jokes aside, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun doing the hero brand drawing. At first, I wasn't liking it, but I feel like by the end, it actually came out really good. But I'm rambling. Go f for today. I'm really sorry again that this video was kind of short. This sweet process is really short. And also just, I really wanted to get this video out on time, so mm, sorry about the timing. Okay, um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you care about my life. Follow me on the home second, Art Amino, if you want to be in any more future videos. And I will leave a link to the original creepypasta down below if you would like to read along with me. And as always, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Stay safe, guys. Bye.